Hello, Musa. Can you listen? So Musa actually is our student winner for UN OSSC uh, Entrepreneurship Academy. So uh, Musa is in Kenya and uh, she's uh, uh, working in the medical healthcare sector. So Musa, if it's convenient, you can uh, turn on your video so that we can see you. On, and then on the floor, you can see uh, Professor Snell from Hang Seng University. He's a professor um, teaching management and also strategic uh, marketing management. Hello, Musa. Hi, Hello, Musa. You want to say hi to us? Yeah. Hello, Musa. Yeah. Hello. Yes, I can. Hi. OK, Hello. nice to have you. How long you can stay today? Uh, okay, I'm in a medical camp, so I don't know if I can. All right, okay. Because our speaker today is uh, Maggie. Maggie Ho is the experience for Rinky. You know Rinky for those kind of healing therapy. So um, it's a kind of uh, medical and also for the healing for well-being SDGs number three. So I will talk about my research finding on energy management. And after that, we'll pass the time to uh, Maggie because she's a more like a practitioner on this area. Mm. Okay. The sound is okay, right? Hello? Yeah, good. Okay, so you want to share with us about um, the COVID situation in Kenya? Okay. Okay. Are you getting me? Yeah, yeah. We can hear. You can say something about uh, COVID or any transformation in your hospital that you're working in Kenya. Okay, currently I'm working with the Maasai, with um, the mattress that is located in Masai Mara, whereby we, we give out free medical camps to people in Masai Mara region. We do. We also educate women on anti-FGM and empower women on uh, on to leave the FGM and to empower them to to focus on education because you know in Maasai there is we in Maasai people really practice FGM and early marriages so that okay. is what we are currently doing yeah thank you and uh, let me introduce another participant it's a doctor from Yema and hello yeah she's also our student winner actually uh, she's uh, a doctor working in the uh, UNICEF in the uh, Yema and uh, she's the UN OSSC Entrepreneurship Academy and she also submitted the application for the Miss Environmental Contest uh, organized by a uh, UN Global Compact this year so you want to say hi to us Okay, so um, the rest of the participants right now joining us for the Zoom today, they are JCI uh, president, uh, ex-president, and some of the uh, members. So next to me is the speaker of today, um, Maggie. So Maggie Ho is the experienced uh, Rinky practitioner. And Rinky is the kind of like a healing uh, to get your energy back. And using by hand without much devices, you can regain about your, your spirit. And then, the, you know, under COVID-19, a lot of people may be scared and also emotion. So how are we going to use uh, different kinds of ways like mental, spiritual, and also physical to recover about our emotion and you can have the energy back so that your productivity level will be increased. So uh, without... a uh, Adieu. We are going to start for our 27th time of the uh, SDG transformation uh, organized by the School of Business uh, BSSI Center with the support from UN SDSN and also BMI uh, Stars Foundation and also from WISDP of UNESCO Hong Kong Association. So thank you, everybody. Uh, the sound level, everything is okay, right? So if it's possible, you can turn on the video yes, and let's take a group photo together. Yes. 
Hello, Alex. Musa. And there are, hello, Barbara. Barbara is the artist for ceramic and uh, it's an Italian. So Barbara, if hello. Also, you Hi. can also turn on your video. Okay, okay, yeah, let me do that. I'm not sure. One, two, three. Hello, Barbara. So today, uh, we have participants from Myanmar, from Kenya, from uh, Cameroon, from the UK, and also from Hong Kong, but they may be uh, returning from Italy and other mm -hmm. countries. So they are uh, NGO JCI and also IT expert. And next to me is the speaker of today, Maggie, is the Renki practitioner. So the topic of today is about art, life, business. How are we going to transform using sustainable development, uh, the goals? So uh, I'm going to start from my research finding about 15 minutes. And after that, you can raise some question and I will pass the time to our next speaker, Maggie. So um, thank you for joining us. So now, um, Joshua, would you please uh, share the screen about my research, which is about energy. So everybody can view the screen, right? Yes. So now, okay, you can see about the topic, it's about resilience. So under COVID-19 for almost more than two years, and a lot of people all over the world, we are kind of sick of work from home, study from home, or even entertainment from home. So art actually is not just only about like painting, drawing. We can use art element for the producer themselves is a therapy, but also art can create business because we are coming from school of business. So that's why when we think about SDGs number three, wellness, how to put wellness into art element. And to, today is one of the topic is about Rinky and then we can generate business. So you can see the poster on the left hand side is the NFT I'm using digitalization. This is my face. <laughs> and then at the end, okay, at the background, they are all my yoga photos. So this is one of the artifacts that I put into later on in NFT platform. And then another project, you can see the watch, is the Turbulent watch made by Man Origin and I helped to co-design. And uh, my yoga, uh, the post is inside the watch. I published two books, it's about the production on the watch. So watch is the kind of craftsmanship. It's a kind of art too, right? Eh? And then another thing, the project that I finished with is on the right-hand side, is a restructure about the printing. The printing industry is a universe. They have history about 18 years of uh, 18 years. And they are listed company in Hong Kong. So you can see the building is a traditional Kun Tong industrial building, but we add a lot of art element, the Chinese calligraphy on the wall, and then to engage the teenagers, how do we think? the traditional industrial building with art element. And then you can engage a platform for drawing, learning, and doing different kinds of business, like a startup platform. So next, please. Okay, when we start about art, actually there's no universal definition. What is visual art? As long as we have about three elements. One, is it beautiful? make somebody like appealing, really want to look you know, about the design. The second thing, any meaning, the message that the drawings or the art they want to convey. And then we add about imagination. So next. So you can see we see an art is one of the topics uh, brought up by UNESCO, the headquarters in Paris. And then last month I've been holding the uh, debate in Hong Kong about we see an art how we can make use of art element, painting, drawing, choice, calligraphy, or rinky to think about resilience, to get back our energy so that you can resume about your normal work and you can enjoy about happiness. So next. So for my research, you can see about energy will be related to maybe medicine, natural therapy, 
or maybe using hand or meditation, we have different ways to gain back our energy. So under COVID-19, people maybe suffer depression or they have haven't <laughs> or they haven't seen their family members for a long time because of quarantine, uh, different kind of reasons. So these are the elements about energy. I highlighted will be about point number four. Okay, we can do a lot of things like a therapy at home. And also we can self-manage, self-help ourselves. So that's why today the topic Rinky will be about the self-help management. Even though you may be work from home, you may be under quarantine, but still you can do something about yourself, drawing or anything. And the other element I focused on will be about number six. We need to have an integration about the body, the mind, the spirit. If you can combine the three things as a daily habit, you can get back your peace. So for SDGs number 16, it's about peace. Peace is understand about your body, inner peace, your emotion, also including with your productivity, right? So next. So this is one of my research that I've been uh, uh, studying mm -hmm. over about maybe uh, 15 to 20 years research paper on energy, mm -hmm. And an energy management link up to talent. What are the talent, the skills that we need? So you can see here, they need to have trust. Say for example, if I'm the patient, or maybe I need to regain my energy. Next to me, maybe the service provider. I need to have the trust on the energy service provider. If we don't have the trust that she can do some healing service for you, then it doesn't help. So trust is very important. And the second thing will be about the transformation when you're using uh, energy management. So the, the talent, they need to know how to do something you can do at home, self-management, right? So next, please. So energy management, okay, based on here, you can see the highlighted uh, area. Number one, you need to identify where the pain coming from. The pain can be physically, oh, I have neck pain, I have maybe back pain, but also the pain can be inner, your heart, your mind. If you don't realize where the pain coming from, it's very difficult to, to cure. If you cannot find the pain and also trust in the service provider, it is very difficult to regain your energy and also improve your level of productivity. So that's why we think trust in therapy provider important. Number two, you need to practice with your hand to do something, not just need about the Chinese calligraphy uh, I'm using. Self-management, but the painting, you can use it as a uh, maybe book cover. And one more thing is about holistic, combined body, mind, hand to cure about yourself, right? Next, please. So two more slides and then I will uh, invite questions from the floor. So energy management will be about, you know, the three things that we just mentioned and they are all coming from the past literature in the, all over the world. So next. So these are the uh, research paper that they have a lot of references about energy management. Yeah. So now we come to the talent. Talent will be social asset of the community. So, you know, right now today we have doctor from Yama, we have nurse from Kenya, and also we have Hong Kong Maggie from Rengi. So we have different kinds of practitioner, they are professional. So when I conduct the research, nine article coming from 2015 to 2021, and then we find that what are the skills that we need? If you want, want to work in medical, healthcare, well-being, even teaching, but teaching related to recover your emotion or productivity. So you can see number one, assessment skills. We need to assess about your mind, your heart, your physical level to see whether you cannot do your job. What are the reasons? So that will be about assessment skills. Second thing will be about stress coping. Uh, maybe you can eat something with higher like immunity system, uh, nutrition, or maybe you can do something like painting, drawing, or rinky. So we have different ways to release your stress, but you need to identify the stress first. 
And the most important thing I want to highlight is the research thinking. So no matter what, we need to have a very critical mindset about research. If you don't have the research finding to support about the therapy, actually the service may not be very long lasting. So now we come to the end for my part. So this is about the research in the energy management for the talent. So basically my research will be on two parts. One is about energy management. What are the key factors that we need to consider? And second thing is about the people. If you want to transform, you want to create your own business. So what are the skill set? The skill set will be assessment skill set and also using about your hand for self-management. And next one is the how to build trust to relieve the stress of yourself and also of your uh, customer. So next please. So this is the second model about talent development in energy management. So remember, when we talk about energy, the word is big, it's very broad. You can mention about well-being, also uh, maybe included with yoga, Reiki, anything about spiritual, mental, and physical. So that is my uh, presentation, okay, for my part. So now uh, we can uh, stop sharing the screen to see anybody on the floor want to share with us. Hello, Shane. Shane from South Africa. Oh, oh okay, all right. Can we start this Okay, okay. So um, we are going to, uh, we enter the Zoom because uh, maybe because of the time, all right? So let's join us again, okay? Using the same link. And then I will pass the time to the second speaker. In music there. You didn't mention music, but there's a lot of people who are, uh, they've got hidden talents with music. Um, with me, I, I'm not sure what my hidden talents are because I've never found any. Um, I can't really play a note um, and I can't draw. <laughs> I can sing. I can sing. So I suppose that's my my talent. Um, but when I was a bit young, I smoked too much. So my voice went a bit funny. Um, but I, I suppose I suppose everybody, I think what you could have uh, just kind of free associating it. I think what you could have said a little bit more is about how people can find their hidden talents. Exactly. Right? Actually, yeah. you know, in business, we talk about power, right? Power can be yeah. because of your expertise, power because of your bureaucratic position, power can be of our theories, the relation power, three major kind of power. But the healing, if you can gain better about your productivity, you can get power for yourself. So maybe I can invite Wei. Wei is our UN OSS winner. It's a doctor from uh, Yama. So Wei, you want to share about your experiences working for UNICEF and also your uh, experiences for Empower Women? And then, hello, hello Wei. Thank you for joining us. So how's my research about energy management? Uh, you want to unmute yourself and then share about your uh, experiences on Empower Women, about working for the uh, medical sector in Yama. Okay, maybe Barbara. Barbara is the uh, uh, expertise in ceramic for many years, just like you since younger girl. Mm -hmm. And actually she comes from finance uh, industry. So Barbara, any comment for my first research uh, findings about energy management? Can we use the ceramic as a kind of energy to gain back for your productivity? Uh, hi everyone. Yeah, I think it's very interesting. Uh, I, I, I like uh, the, the, the idea that uh, uh, we need to manage the energy and we need to find uh, uh, um, something uh, personal that works personally because uh, uh, everyone is different. Uh, so uh, mm, to me, uh, my, my, my personal uh, 
uh, uh, stress release is a ceramic. Uh, this helps me to to stress my, my uh, to 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 release my stress. But of course, uh, uh, everyone is different. I I think uh, um, when uh, it, it comes uh, with uh, somebody that works uh, in financial uh, uh, sector or uh, works mainly with the brain, it's helpful uh, work with the end to release the stress. Uh, mm. It's the opposite uh, way to, to, to release the stress. So this is maybe is a one uh, maybe tip uh, to, to use when uh, you, you, you are uh, uh, try to find uh, your personal uh, way to, 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 to release the stress. Yeah. Thank you so That's much. Interesting, Barbara. Can I just ask Barbara? I mean, I, um, yeah, Barbara so is uh, Italian, uh, living in Hong Kong for yeah. a number of years, but her uh, professional yeah. is finance, and uh, yeah, right now she plays ceramic. So, you're a finance person, Barbara. So, how did you discover <laughs> your talent and passion for ceramics? Yeah, I, uh, um, actually, I uh, very early when I was younger uh, and uh, then I I, I keep uh, I kept uh, going uh, kept uh, doing a uh, ceramic uh, for a while uh, because it uh, was uh, a nice hobby but then uh, after years uh, working uh, in uh, also in, uh, in Singapore in Hong Kong uh, the, the, the uh, financial sector is very stressful very demanding so I, I, I said to myself okay I need something to really release uh, uh, my stress and I know that uh, uh, for me uh, is uh, something uh, um, really with the uh, ants because only with ants I can really uh, release my stress. And so I, I, I realized that ceramic was uh, my medium to, to, to do that. And uh, I, uh, yeah, so I, 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 I use, it uh, to to do do that, and so and then I decided to to leave uh, the the financial sector to yeah. <laughs> yeah. But well, you can see our participants actually they are professionals in one one area, maybe finance, maybe doctor, or maybe a professor. But they have their side interests. But uh, when we talk about wellness, SDGs number three, we need to get a balance between spiritual mental and also our physical so uh wait is it better now you can uh, say something or maybe bernard so bernard actually is the uh, president from rotary club hong kong island east and that is an expert in the technology so our participant we have technology expert alex hong bernard they are coming from uh rotary club and also jci area but they are professional in the technology. You want to say anything about technology, make you to create more stress, or technology help you to release your stress and how you gain back your level of productivity. So maybe Bernard first and then after Alex. Bernard? Uh, yes, I hope uh, it's not too noisy. Uh, I just want to share my experience. I was uh, uh, recently you know, working with a company uh, which uh, does the crypto world with NFTs. You know, they're doing a foundation, just so the enterprise. Actually, what I told them is that because the expectations of technologies are getting too high, and uh, you know the the, uh, the 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 expectation set by many people trying to bite up more than what they can chew. You know, like uh, it is is actually creating more stress on everybody trying to deliver. So um, I recommend it that the strategy of the foundation and the company to uh, focus less on technology so that yeah, we can exactly. back, be back to reality, uh, see what we can do to create value by itself first. And then for example, technology can only help us manage the value that we create. So uh, by focusing number one on uh, like partnership, which is uh, UN uh, SDG 17 goal, one of them. And after we have the value of partnership, then the function of technology is only to help manage what is valuable. So that was my recent uh, 
uh, like a sharing to the other company. Exactly. So actually, um, technology and also maybe uh, yoga or Reiki, they are just only a kind of tools, but you need to identify your, your source of pain, the pain where they come from, and then what kind of tools will be uh, applicable to yourself and then the, to gain back your synergy. So Alex, you want to share with us uh, about your experiences working in JCI for so many uh, projects and also your IT expert. And then after that, I will pass the time to Fogon. So Eric Fogon, I saw you just join in. So uh, Eric actually is the uh, coordinator in Cameroon and it's the uh, ICN itself, it's the UN Global Compact Coordinator. So Alex, now your time. Hi. Hello. Hi. I, uh, let me quick introduce myself. I, I have been working in the IT industry for uh, now it's uh, 22 years already. Uh, since my uh, expertise in uh, IT, uh, we in this industry we we have a lot of uh, stress level uh, because uh, firstly there are many uh, different kind of uh, projects and deadlines to chase. Another, uh, I think in, in uh, the technology is keep changing. And uh, each uh, uh, skills we learn may uh, get experience soon uh, in uh, within uh, three to five years. So we are uh, keep uh, very uh, nervous and keep uh, uh, need to uh, work uh, uh, to study and to chase the new technology. And ho hopefully, we we are not uh, being. Uh, 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 lag uh, behind the the others, so the the, the uh, stress level to uh, IT is uh, keep uh, very high. Uh, wow, uh, I think the and on the other hand, what we are going want to uh, create to, to the projects, uh, hopefully we can uh, solve some uh, uh, problems in the world. We are trying to identify uh, the uh, pain points of a specific problem. And uh, when we are dealing with the specific problem, uh, in myself, I think it is uh, uh, very, very uh, relaxed to me if I can really uh, achieve and help the others. That's, uh, mm. in, in, in the IT world, I think uh, both stress and uh, we relax, they are keep, keep uh, being cycled up and down. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. So that's why a lot of people joining uh, volunteer for JCI or maybe Rotary Club or anything or Lion Club is for relaxation. People say that maybe <laughs> uh, you have a lot of work to do, but actually engage with you know all those stakeholders is for relaxation to gain back your productivity, your happiness, and then drive back how you can contribute in your professionalism in your daytime work. Mm. So uh, for Don, you want to say anything before I pass the time to Maggie, our second speaker? Uh, Eric Fogan is the expert in the environmental is issues and uh, also delivers some sharing in the COP26 in Scotland, Glasgow. So um, is it possible for you to share anything? Okay, so that's fine. Now I pass the time to uh, Maggie. Maggie mm -hmm. is our today's speaker on the energy management and uh, she's the practitioner in healing, healing therapy, using natural, using the hand, and also about uh, Reiki. So she's uh, like since 2002, uh, more than about 20 years, working on energy management for Reiki and using the hand. And uh, she told me also Reiki can be applied to animal too. So under COVID-19, a lot of people they are pet uh, are owners. So using the pet, you know, play around at home actually can help the uh, pet owner to regain about the energy level. So uh, let us maybe share the time, okay? Mm. And uh, Maggie will using uh, Cantonese for the delivery of the uh, the content, and I will compensate with English. Okay, so Maggie, Hi. your time. Thank you. Hi, hello. Um, today I'm going to talk 靈氣,我們中文 
就講好似好好飄或者好虛無咁啦。但係其實我哋喺生活上面咧，誒、呃、日常嘅生活咧，誒、呃、我哋接觸到太陽啊，或者係月亮啊、日同埋夜嗰個都係一個能量嚟嘅。咁我哋講中國人啦，我哋講陰同埋陽啦，顏色啊，或者係燈光啊，或者係音樂咧，呢一啲都係影響緊我哋嘅心理啦，或者一啲生理層面嘅能量啦。咁我哋可以講下咧，身體嘅能量咧，有咩會影響緊我哋啦？或者係誒介紹下咩叫做 Reiki 啊，靈氣先啦。咁 Reiki 咧，其實佢係一個誒。呃哦、日本嘅氣功啦 ，Japan 啦，日本嘅一個、呃、能量嘅功法嚟嘅。咁、呃、中國咧其實都有氣功嘅喎。咁中國嘅氣功咧，同我哋日本呢一個 Reiki 嘅氣功咧，佢有啲唔同啦。咁因為中國嘅氣功咧，就會係要鍛鍊啦，或者係要練嘅時間咧相當之長啦。咁我哋日本嘅 Reiki 呢個氣功咧，就係一個好有系統啦，或者好容易去學嘅一個誒一個誒能量嘅技巧啦。咁誒 Reiki 呢個靈氣嘅主要嘅功效啦，佢係一個可以治療疾病啊，或者一個養生啊，誒令到人嗰個智慧去開啟啦，或者誒將我哋有一個誒 protection 啦，即係誒能量嘅 protection 啦，咁。仲有咧，我哋其實咧，坊間咧都有好多唔同嘅書咧，可以去睇下 Reiki 啦，同埋呢個 Reiki and 呢個 Seven 呢個 Chakra 咧，點樣誒去做一個 combine 一個治療啊咁樣嘅。好嘛，好嘛。OK， so ah、uh, for the first part from Maggie. Maggie just mentioned about using the hand, we can gain back our energy. So it's a natural therapy. But you need to learn about the Reiki symbol, how to draw it, and then the and and actually anything about life, they have energy. You can get the energy from the moon, from the star, or from the nature of the plant. So that will be getting the energy from the universe, and then integrate into yourself by using the hand, and you can feel the heat inside. So for chronic diseases or for emotion or maybe some pain that maybe you try a lot of method, it doesn't help. But Reiki can help. So uh, in the Australia, in New Zealand, and also in UK, uh, most of the hospital, they have a Reiki department. And even Harvard, they do the uh, research about Reiki. Uh, it's quite effective for cure some of the diseases. Hmm. Okay. So, 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 中國咧，我哋會係講經絡啦。咁誒，印度咧，我哋會講脈輪啦。脈輪我哋而家身體咧有七個脈輪。咁靈氣點樣可以咧？誒、呃，同我哋嗰個七輪咧點樣去做一個誒誒、呃、合併？點樣去做一個治療身體咧？咁誒、呃、，Reiki 啦，佢係一個源自日本嘅一個誒、呃、能量嘅療法。咁咧，佢係透過一個生命嘅能量咧，去誒、呃、調節我哋嗰個身體嘅能量啦，回復翻平，回復翻平衡咁樣嘅。咁咧，誒、呃，我哋去翻下一頁啦。咁我哋其實咧，將用手咧，可以將能量去誒，同、呃、身體嗰個平衡翻。咁將佢嗰個體內嘅氣啦，可以去調節嘅。咁而 Reiki 啦，靈氣佢有一個。特點啦，就係效果會快啦，同埋方便啦。誒係一個好好好有用嘅一個功法啦。咁我哋講下咧，下一頁咧係啦。我哋講下 Reiki 啦，或者點樣可以係一個保健嘅原理先。咁中國人啦，我哋咩叫做病啦？誒病理咧就係我哋嘅體陰陽五行平衡啊。誒五行有冇失調啦？氣暢唔暢順啦？其實我哋都講緊氣咧，嗰、那個嗰、那個血氣嘅運行喎。咁身體嘅能量咧，我哋都會誒顯、呃、化為一個四大嘅元素啦。誒、呃，我哋有地水火風嘅元素。咁如果用中中國嘅
能量嘅體系去睇咧，氣唔暢順，即係話我哋身體咧會產生一啲誒能量阻塞啦。能量阻塞即係我哋有啲地方咧，佢個血氣唔通，血氣唔通咧就會引起我哋嘅身體好多嘅能量嘅阻塞啦。咁情緒咧亦都係我哋可以即係導致我哋生病嘅一個原因啦。咁而 Reiki 啦，佢係一個誒氣嘅。誒氣嘅能量可以打通我哋身體嘅嘅一啲阻塞嘅能量，所以咧可以達到一個保健嘅效果啦。嗯。So, ah,、uh, for the second part, Maggie just mentioned using Reiki and also the hand, you can adjust your imbalance inside about your body. Because for Chinese we have Yin and Yang. So, ah,、uh, and all together we have the chakra will be from the the head, the eyes, the throat, the heart, the tummy. And also the bottom. So if you can get a balance for all the seven chakra and also yin yang, ah,、uh, you can release about maybe some toxic substances stuck inside about your blood and make it go more smoothly. So if you can remove the ah、uh, bad ah、uh, toxic substances or maybe the emotion ah、uh, the ah、uh, substance, and then you can get back your energy. But that has to be like a habit, right? You need、mm. to practice. Every day, just like maybe you are brushing your teeth or whatever,、mm. and then once you get the energy, you can heal about yourself, and also you can help others. But of course, you need to、uh, have some kind of a professional guidance how to do that. Yeah. Hmm. 咁灵气治疗师咧有啲咩好处咧？咁诶，佢嘅好处就系简单啦，容易学啦。咁佢容易学，因为我哋嘅课程咧系由系统化。咁只要咧跟住一個一一步一步咁樣啦，已經可以做到嗰個效果，而且個效果咧係非常之顯著嘅。咁我哋可以用喺咩嘅行業上面咧？咁而家其實我哋咧誒喺美容咧都可以達到一個美容嘅效果嘅。皮我哋可以提升皮膚啦，或者我哋嗰個誒身體嘅淋巴血液循環啦，都可以去。誒加強嗰個運行啦，或者將一啲淋巴阻塞啊，都可以去通翻嘅。咁誒，而我哋可以配合一啲心理學家啊，或者係養生嘅學者啦，誒、呃、催眠師啊，或者係營養師啊，甚至乎而家瑜伽啦，誒、呃、按摩師啊，醫生啊，一啲啊做身心靈嘅工作者啦。咁誒、呃，其實家庭主婦咧都可以係幫自己屋企人咧，可以去。誒、呃、調戲下自己屋企人嘅誒、呃、幫助自己屋企人嘅誒誒健康啊咁樣去做嘅，所以咧誒呢一、呃這個 Reiki 咧絕對係一個誒可以持續發展嘅項目啦。Okay, thank you. Okay, so the last part from Maggie will be we talk about SDGs number three wellness and link together with number eight ah、uh, economic impact. Through transformations, so it means that when you're going to、uh, transform, you need to realize what will be your strength, what will be the kind of thing that you want to involve in, and then through healing or maybe understand about energy management, understand talent development, and then pick up some of the industry that you want to change and transform, and then get a balance between like、uh, spiritual and mental. So finally, you are not just only helping yourself. But you are also creating a business. It can be entrepreneurial. It can be a totally brand new business. Just like COVID nineteen, a lot of、uh, people may be、uh, uh, transformed、uh, from aviation, from maybe flight attendant into skincare product, or maybe a、uh, pet. You know,、uh, a lot of pet shop they have a lot of medical care in the pet area. So、um, the end of the con today, the、uh, conclusion will be、uh, welcome everybody to join us. And we have more than five countries of the participant coming from Yemen,、uh, Kenya, South Africa, Cameroon, Hong Kong,、um, Italy, and the、uh, UK. For the industry, we have more than five sectors joining in from IT, from、uh, NGO sector, JCI, Rotary Club, from academic Ningnan University, the Gracia Christian College. Hansen University, and also we have experts from finance and also from the art industry. So now open the floor, and we have、uh, the last ten minutes. Any question from the floor, and also on site, we have some student intern here. You want to share about your experiences about energy management? <laughs> do you feel sick? You know, sometimes very tired of a lot of work to do, and how you? 
provide some energy for yourself, like watching movie or eating a lot of junk food. <laughs> But you, you know that junk food actually will bring some kind of negative energy to your body. <laughs> And also Johnny. So uh, Johnny, thank you for the support from Star Foundation. And Johnny working on a lot of research, uh, also in the medical area and also on the uh, sustainable oh, development. Maybe Johnny can share about uh, your experiences. How to get back your energy if you, uh, your productivity level is going down. Uh, I think I go to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, of course, um, you can do some something more like um, uh, try some um, that high or uh, uh, sort of um, go back. The more, I think the important thing is uh, uh, exercise and uh, have a good balance um, of sleep and rest. Okay. So uh, we are also on site. We have JCI, um, the ex uh, president from Victoria chapter, Aquinas, and also uh, uh, Audrey. You want to share with us anything about today's topic? Rinky, have you heard about this? Uh, I can speak first. Yeah. Uh, uh, anybody? anybody? Okay. So I'm Aubrey, and I have heard of Rinky, and I, I don't practice. I never have Rinky before, but then my friends are masters also. Um, so how I distract myself is that I, I also do yoga, I meditate, I, I write, like, so that's how I um, distress and maintain a calm life. <laughs> <laughs> how about queerness? No, okay, so thank you. So now, um, participant on the floor, uh, Professor Snell, you want to add further comment for the second part? Um, yeah, I'd say that, um, I mean, diet is very important. Um, I, I don't eat meat, but I eat seafood and vegetables. And, uh, and I think um, that the Mediterranean diet is quite uh, well recommended nowadays. So that's one thing. Exercise. Um, I mean, I don't go to the gym much nowadays, but I do a lot of walking. Um, and um, and you can walk in Hong Kong to places. I wish somebody to go in Hong Kong. I walk alongside the beach. I'm lucky where I live, so that's good. Um, rest um, is is a very important. As as someone said, I think just I take more naps nowadays as I as I get older, right? And and uh, that's okay too. Um, so. Um, So I think those things are very important. And um, there's lots of different things you can do. I think Reiki is um, obviously uh, a very powerful medium that, that, that people can, can choose to do. Yoga, as, as uh, surely as a practitioner of yoga, I think that I've done that before and I've, um, I think that's very useful too. Uh, um, one thing that hasn't been mentioned is um, It is more of an audio, listening to music. I find that listening to uh, classical chamber music, I find that very relaxing as well. Um, and so music, although you're not using your hands, well, you can use your body to listen to music, can't you as well, right? And I think these things are very important. So that, that's, that's my 50 cents. <laughs> yeah, okay. So um, to wrap up, um, this is about the 26th time of our ongoing transformation uh, using SDGs. So next time will be about February 26th. And uh, I have invited president of Global Minnesota, uh, Mark Ritchie. So Mark is also working with me in UN area and is a very experienced uh, professional in academic higher education. And April, I also invited uh, the I president, okay? So I think this is a monthly uh, practice of ongoing for two years already. So thank you once again for joining us. And uh, do I miss anybody here? Uh, Connie, Connie Ho, you want to say anything about today's topic? So Connie from JCI too, and also uh, working together with uh, Yoga and Family uh, Happiness Project. So Connie, Okay. All right then. So uh, next time join us will be about February 26th. So if somebody just joining in, you can uh, turn on your video to take a group photo. And uh, the time is good. Now it's about 4.50. Okay. Mm -hmm.
So thank you, Dara. Dara from um, JCI. Right, Dara. Yeah. And uh, Bernard, thank you, Bernard, again. And uh, it's the judge for the UNOSSC uh, Entrepreneurship Academy. So our next time for the UNOSSC Entrepreneurship Academy will be April, two months later. So join us next time. Bye-bye. 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 Bye-bye.